My name is Grace and I work at Western Technical College as a work-based learning specialist. My role is to support students as they look for the next job or internship that's going to help them reach their career goals. This video provides a brief overview of some tips and tricks that I use when I'm working with students to help them conduct a successful job or internship search. Job and internship searches are highly individualized, so I, I recommend if you're watching this video and you have some more questions to set up an appointment with Career Services and we'd be happy to meet with you. First, my advice is to go to Western Technical College's website and search Career Services. Once you're on our webpage, you'll find a tab that's called Finding Employment. On this tab, our team works diligently to make sure that you have the most up-to-date information that you need in order to conduct a successful job or internship search. You'll find information about Handshake, employment resources, job seeking sites, um, and big interview to practice your interview skills. There are a ton of job search platforms out there, and I have not met anybody that has hours and hours a day to go through each one and make sure they're not missing an opportunity. So my advice is to pick three, maybe four, no more than five job search platforms that you're really going to focus in on. And again, that's going to be specific to your needs, but I do encourage all students to sign up for Handshake. Handshake is our job search platform that the career services team works to find to approve jobs and employers, both in our area, nationally and internationally, um, that are going to be a great match for the skills that you have. You can also use LinkedIn, maybe Indeed, um, or maybe there's another platform that um, speaks to a previous experience you've had or um, a certain industry that you want to go into. I'm going to be using focusing on Handshake and LinkedIn today, but again, I encourage you to look for other opportunities if that works for you. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you how you can use Handshake to um, make your job search efficient and streamlined so that you can focus on other things that you like to do as well. Every Western student has a Handshake profile. So if you're looking at this page and you don't know what this is, I encourage you to go to www.joinhandshake.com and once there, put in your Western student email click Western Technical College, and it'll prompt you to continue to go through um, and set up a password so that you can get into your profile. If you have any questions, let us know. Once you get there, this will be the main page that you see. And Handshake has um, a ton of jobs and events and employers that you can peruse through. First thing I want to show you is you can click here on jobs. And um, let's say you're looking for a digital marketing position. So you're gonna search for digital marketing, you're gonna click location, and I'm gonna assume that you want to live in La Crosse, Wisconsin, um, but there's other locations you can pick as well. And then you can go through and click um, if you wanna work on-site or remote, um, click for full-time internship or part-time. Once you put those parameters in, you're gonna have some jobs that that come up that match those that, that search. So one thing that you can do is you can save your search. As you can see, I already have saved it. Um, but I encourage students to maybe think through five keyword searches that they can put into Handshake um, and then save them. What's gonna happen is you're gonna get an email each week um, with updates of what jobs match the searches that you saved. So my goal is that instead of having to go on to Handshake and then go on to Indeed and then go on to LinkedIn, um, you get emails from these platforms that tell you what jobs are out there that match what you're looking for. Then you can look through those emails and um, decide on which ones you wanna focus on. The other thing that you can do is look for employers that you wanna follow as well. So if you are, if you know that you're interested in certain employers, you can go on to Handshake, enter them in, and as you can see, I follow different employers um, that match different searches that I've uh, worked with students on, so that if I see any updates, I can send those to those students as well. Um, another thing that you can do is um, work on kind of creating a um, profile that helps you stand out for, um, for future employers. 
Um, to do that, I've pulled up the LinkedIn profile checklist, and this is going to work for LinkedIn and for Handshake. Um, you want to be ready to have a photo that is professional, um, right? So no, I always tell students, you know, to take care of your, look at what your background says, um, wear a nice shirt, um, look professional so that employers are impressed with the photo that you are showing on your Handshake and LinkedIn uh, pages. Um, and then you get to, this is where it gets very individualized. And I work with students on what they want to put out there, right? Um, your headline can say what you're looking um, to do, what kind of jobs you want to find. Um, you can write a stellar summary that talks about your career goals, um, your interests, your experience at Western. You can put on your, um, you can also um, put your resume um, on these pages as well to show employers what you can do list your experience out, um, and any organization's um, volunteer experience or education that you have. Um, this is, as much as you can put on there, it's going to help to optimize the search engines. This is the creepy AI part of a, of a job search, um, but employers and recruiters are out there looking for students just like you as well. So the more you put on there, the more they will be able to find um, to find you if they have a match uh, and reach out. And I'm hearing that more and more from students um, that from Handshake and from LinkedIn, they are getting um, recruiting emails um, with jobs that match what they're looking for. Finally, I just want to say it's important to keep yourself organized and to set realistic goals as you're applying for jobs. Take a look at your week. Take a look at what you have going on, all the different things that you're juggling, and ask yourself, do you have time to search for and apply for two jobs, five jobs? Whatever it is, be honest and set that goal so that you feel like you're moving forward and kind of see that forward momentum in your search. Keep track of when you submit applications and be ready to respond to potential calls or emails. I have heard horror stories of students forgetting that they even applied for a job and that doesn't look good to the employer if they call you and you're like, whoa, who are you? Whoa, what do you want? Um, keep, keep a log so that you're kind of aware of what you have out there and what, what employers might be ready to contact you. Another aspect of a successful job search is networking, and I'm going to go over that in a second video. Thank you for listening, and I hope to work with you sometime in the future.